Hey man, welcome to the seventh part of this series. I've done a lot of work since the last episode, and I'm now ready to fight that grand thunderbird thing. I think I'm... I have to go here and shoot this thing. I don't know how hard it's going to be. We'll have to see. Alright. Oh, well, he's... Oh, he's not that hard so far. I hope I don't... Oh. I don't know what mod this is from, but hey. It's working out pretty easy. Yeah, this Glock. Great weapon. Don't know what, what mod that's from, but it's... I mean, it's tearing this dude apart. This is real easy. I thought this would be like a mid-level boss. I prepared way too much for this. I mean, this is... Uh, it's kind of sad. I do not know what mod this is from, though. I'll have to check. Alright. Let's see what we get. Well, none of this looks very... fantastic. It's kind of... <laughs> mediocre. I don't know. There's nothing really here I... want to keep. But maybe if we farm them a few more times... Alright, I'm gonna try and sell some of this crap that I don't need and put this trophy back up. So, so far, the boss isn't that hard. I'd say you could probably do it with copper armor or, if we're playing Calamity, a Wolfram. And probably a bow or a crossbow or something like that. Anything that doesn't require a lot of damage. As you saw, it was quite fast. Let's see. I'm trying to remember what I'm looking for. There's something else I want to work on. But uh, after this, I was going to do the Brain of Cthulhu after this. Because I I was going to be, I was gonna do it before because I thought it would be a bit harder. I mean, I was going to do it before because I thought it would be easier. This guy was a pushover. I'd also like to say that I have been working on that Minecraft. Oh, uh-oh. I've been working on that Minecraft content I was talking about with the Rad Mod Pack. And so far, I think it's going to turn out pretty good. I'm working on editing it. You know, since it's first person, I want to change some things up. And Sorry that travel takes so long. I just thought I'd try to do something with a few less cuts. You know, I can't stand watching my own content back. I think it's horrible. <laughs> Frankly, I think this is going to be horrible as well. But one thing I noticed is, man, you could not hear what I was saying. What's that? Huh. Sounds cool. All right, let's let's kill this guy. I'm sure we'll do it real fast this round. I'm sure if I use those Halo weapons, we'd probably already be in hard mode. But hey, yeah, this guy's easy probably do this with a bow. I mean, I'm one of the worst Terraria players there is, and I'm doing just fine. I mean, I don't know what mod this is from or what progression that is. I did a little bit of research on Calamity, though, and apparently, uh, some type of worm I have to fight. This, I don't know what boss this is from. This might be a Calamity boss, but I don't know. I'll have to check, but I have to fight some kind of worm. And uh, when I was in the ocean on the far left, I actually got a notification that there was a, a megalodon in the ocean, but it never showed up. So I don't know what that, what the deal with that is. But that sounds pretty cool. And I might have to later in this playthrough load up different worlds so I can get you know bits of world gen that I didn't get in this one. That's just the way Terraria is, you know. You only have so much room. This guy is a piece of cake. Yeah, I... This guy's really easy. I should have fought him sooner. I feel like... He's at King Slime level, really. Except, uh, if you're playing in fun mode, then... Then, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Also, sorry, but, you know... I'm working on stuff... 
wanting to put it up. Every once in a while, you know. I just feel like my commentary needs to get better. And I want to do some more deep dives. I really enjoy making that content. But the thing is, you know, I spent like a few hours doing research. And that's really what I enjoy. I try to make sure I get all my facts correct. And I write, I wrote a script and I tried some new editing. And I enjoyed that content. But, you know, I feel like right now, I wouldn't mind if it got, you know, say like at least it uh, taught one person something, but I feel like right now I'm not at the level where I'm doing enough outreach to really reach people who need to see it. So I'm going to focus on making some more content, maybe like the uh, sub mechanophobia or sub mechanophobia, depending on <laughs> how you want to pronounce that. And I'm thinking about doing some thrift shop stuff because I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of making about a... 500% return on one item from a thrift store from how much I paid and I've been selling CDs for a while and I think I have a, an insight into that of running like a very you know, a side job of reselling thrift store stuff and I love thrift stores and you know maybe something more tailored on the fact of just uh, shorter videos because I do it every like two weeks I'm pretty sure I head out and, you know, I might do some in-the-store in type stuff, but I don't know. I enjoy content like that, like uh, LGR. I love when he does that, but the thing is, he's always buying for himself, pretty much. And I always buy to resale, unless I find something I enjoy. So that might be something I do. And I know, in, these, in this series so far, it's been, hey, here's some Terraria stuff, but here's some other stuff. I just... I don't know, you know, doesn't matter, I feel like two people will watch this, and hopefully, you know, two people, I mean, I mean, that's good, that's worth putting the effort into, man, I just feel like, you know, if I'm not making anything good, why even continue, but hey, if you like it, great, that's literally all I needed to know. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Minecraft stuff's going to turn out pretty good. I'm having a really good time with that mod. I'm going to record some more probably right after this. Yeah. Once we get to episode 10, oop, I'm probably going to take a break for a while. You know, just because there's no point. I mean, <laughs> what's the point of continuing a series one? You know. But hey. If this is... If I, I'm going to listen to this in the future. And this is a deciding moment. I want to make this the last video where I just talk about garbage that doesn't relate to Terraria. So hey. <laughs> Next time, it'll be completely about the game. And I'm going to stop with all this stupid, nonsensical rambling. But that that is how to just murder the Grand Thunderbird. I mean, he's easy. He's so easy. His attack patterns are easy. Everything's easy about this boss. I'm not encountering anything that should, should give you trouble if you want to fight him. I mean, this is just a simple magic weapon that I was able to craft with some copper. I think it takes up the uh, one of the first mage class spots, but I'm sure... You know, if you're doing a melee character, I feel like you always have to have a secondary. I don't think that melee always works with these bosses from other mods. Because, you know, in Terraria, all your bosses in the game can pretty much be used by all the classes. But this guy, I really don't think you could do it melee. Unless you had some sort of weapon you could reach out with. But you could definitely do it any type of class you want to do otherwise. Anything that can be ranged. Or just bring a bow if you're a melee character. I mean, you'll take this guy down pretty easy. And his loot is very mediocre. <laughs> Except for that didgeridoo. That's pretty, that's pretty sweet. Anyway, thanks man. I will talk to you later.